Okay, ladies and gents, so welcome back to another football video. So right now, I just read the news that Ralph Rangnick is going to be said to become the new manager of the Austria national football team. And if I'm being honest here, uh, I think that this is a really exciting move for Austria's football team and the Austrian FA, just because I think that uh, this is going to give Austria's football team a really big boost. Because as you people know, if there is one team in qualifiers that I think always had bad luck, it's Austria. Because obviously, Austria's football team, they do have the talent with players like Marco Arnatovic, David Alaba, Marcel Sabitzer, and even the newest uh, uh, prospect on their team, even the newest uh, rising exciting player in Kalajic. I think that for Austria, uh, I think this could be a very um, solid move as a chance for him, you know, to finally fulfill their full potential with the current players they have, you know, because when it comes to Ralph Rangnick's uh, tenure at United, I don't think the entire blame, I don't think it's fair to entirely blame uh, United struggles on him because I noticed that sometimes some people are so quick to point the finger at Rangnick for United struggles. But if you actually sit there and think about it, I think that uh, Rangnick, um, you know, you look at Manchester United squad, I think that a lot of the players at United just have really been underperforming and just not uh, performing up to United standards. So I don't know how that thing can entirely be Ralph Rangnick's fault when, you know, he can only do so much as a manager. But I think for now, um, I'm super excited for him to become the next manager for the Austrian national team. And and I, would, I am super also excited to see how Austria are going to do under him. I think that this is going to be a very, very big boost for him, not only for him to, you know, once again, try and see if they can go very far at the next Euro tournament, but since they failed to qualify for the World Cup, I think that if you're an Austria football fan, this could be a really fun, um, I think a really fun new uh, way with, uh, with, with Rangnick for him to see how he can uh, utilize the current talent that Austria's national team has, you know, because obviously um i've been kind of reading about the austrian national football team because obviously i see them play at euro 2020 and they were super exciting to watch at euro 2020 but i think that right now with uh, him becoming the next manager of the Austrian national football team. I think that this is the right move, especially for him. You know, I think that's going to ease the pressure for Rangnick because obviously, let's be honest, man, uh, Rangnick, he's a very solid manager. You know, I mean, he's, I did my research on him and, you know, he knows how to uh, build a team. He knows how to, uh, uh, I think, uh, turn a team around, you know, and um, because obviously, you know, that's the reason why he became the interim manager at United. But at the same time, you know, I feel like that uh, he was obviously put in already a situation where, you know, a lot of the United players were underperforming and all that stuff. So obviously, uh, the pressure for Rangnick at Old Trafford was way more massive compared to the Austrian national team. Because I think that, um, I think that the Austrian national football team, now I know I'm probably going to get scrutinized for saying this, but I think that if every, uh, if the Austrian national team, competed in the Premier League I think that the, uh, I'm stuttering I think that they would do a way better job compared to the current Manchester United squad if I'm being honest here but yeah man uh, Rangnick being the current manager for Austria national team pretty pretty solid move so let me know what you think about it in the comment section below uh, like comment subscribe and peace